Hello, Rom Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. So before we get too far into this, I did decide to go ahead and cut down the tedium a bit on my end. Yeah, I went ahead and gave myself infinite Zenny on both versions of the game. Grinding for Zenny in Battle Network 5, it's a guaranteed but slow and tedious process. So, yeah, you can keep making Zenny, but it takes a while. Essentially what you want to do is go to a repeatable liberation mission that has a Zenny panel close to the beginning. Go in, pop that panel, quit the mission, start the mission up again, lather, rinse, repeat. For example, for now, the best I can do is starting up the first liberation mission, there is a panel for 500 Zenny close to the start. You do have to clear another panel to get to it first, so as I said, it can be a bit tedious. It's either that or just grinding against normal viruses and hoping you get Zenny instead of chips, looking for, uh, for green mystery data, that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's cut out the middleman and just make some progress, shall we? We'll just say that I went mad grinding for Zenny. It's not far from the truth. But now it's time for Squirrel Adventures, which aren't as interesting as they sound. Yeah, remember the Water God comp from Battle Network 4? It's basically that. It's a teleporter maze, just with fewer piles of dead navvies to contend with. So our goal is to find the strange navvy at the end of the network. He'd be this way. However, there are goodies to acquire, so we're going to be doing a full tour of the squirrel. Also, if at all possible, I would kind of like to try and get some program advances done. I mean, we have to do that at some point. Like, at this point, everything is clear enough. We can just kind of bide our time. Uh, we're close on one. We're close on two now. If I can get either the missing Vulcan or a missing Spreader, we're good. And neither. But we can show off Shade Man. So yes, he attacks in a spreading formation like that, the panel directly in front of him and the entire column behind that, well, the three panels behind that, unless you attack from the bottom or the top, then it's only two. However, there is a bit more to that chip. There are button inputs that you can do to change what the attack does. We'll get into that a bit later. So I've gone from network one, to two, to three, and... We get a hundred zennies. And from three, logically, to five. Yeah. Five is also a dead end. But we get a charge plus one program. So, uh, yeah. It helps to have a map of the squirrel. And I couldn't find one, so I had to make my own. So, back we go. From five to three to four. To six. I'm sure all this ordering made sense for someone, but we get Gundel Soul 1A. virus, Trumpy. We've actually seen this virus before in previous games in the series. It's kind of a support player. If it plays music, it makes all the other viruses invincible. However, it can't extend the effect to itself.
as you can see. So just proof of concept, even though Trumpy's playing music, can't stop me from attacking it. Again, we're close on two. And no. I feel like that's enough of a chance. We'll get those advances sooner or later. So from six, back to four, to seven, and from seven to eight, which is a dead end. And we get an HP memory, so it's an important dead end. Now at this point, technically, I could just fully jack out of the system and start over again from Squirrel Comp 1. But I want to do this manually just again for the hope of finding some program advances. But also we can show this with Shade Man. So, the key is as soon as Shade Man appears, put in your input. I got it wrong. I used it too early. Basically, there are two inputs you can go with. As soon as Shade Man appears, do a quarter circle motion either down to back or down to forward and then hit A. One makes the attack cause paralysis, the other makes it cause confusion. I want to say it's forward is paralysis and backwards is confusion. I might be wrong on that. Future me will let you know. But yes, we're completely done with the left side of the network. So we're going all the way back to Squirrel Comp 1. It is worth noting those extra inputs, they do work for any version of the Shade Man chip. And welcome to Squirrel Comp 9. 10. And we get 300 zennies. 12. 15. And we get Fast Barrier. With this program installed, you start battle with a shield. It's a bit of a weird shape, and I can't quite fit it into the Navi Cust right now without removing some stuff, so we'll hold off for the moment. So, 15's a dead end, so back to 10. Eleven. And we get 400 zennies. From here, we go to 13, which is another dead end. And we get reg up one. So, back to 11. 14, and finally, 16. We have toured the entirety of the Squirrel Network. Hi there. It's you. Shadow Man. I measured how long it took you to get here. I'm impressed. Yes, we did the full Realtors walkthrough of the Squirrel Network, and it didn't really take too terribly long. What are you people after? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Well, yeah, that's why I asked. Well, clearly you're competent. Y you're Shadow Man's operator? Now I have an idea of your present strength. Lan, you're too reliant on your Navi's abilities. Uh, what? I'd do just as well even without Mega Man. Okay, Len, let's see you dive into the squirrel yourself. Len, what kind of thing is that to say? Our strength lies in our synergy. Mega Man, you're the best Navi I could have. But did you hear what he said? Who wouldn't get mad? 
Guess your bond isn't as strong as I thought. It's going to be an uphill battle against Nebula. I don't need to hear that from you. And why would Shadow Man's operator need to test us? Wait, aren't you a Nebula agent? I'm a lone wolf assassin. I belong to no one. Shadow Man, return. At once. Lan, heed my warning. Regal seeks a certain thing that belongs to your dad. If Regal is able to get it, it will surely spell doom for all. W wait! Is he friend or foe? And what is the thing that Dad has? Len, you've got mail. It's from Beryl. I'll read it. Nebula agents still remain in Oran area. Immediately make your way to Oran area. However, Oran area network is unstable. You will not be able to jack in from Oran Isle. Go there by way of ACDC area. Wow! Nebula's come to occupy Oran area again. We must hurry, Len. Just when I thought we'd finished with that stranger, Nebula agents strike again. This is too much. Crisis music. You have mail, Len. Hot info. This magazine has lots of great info about ACDC Town. Higsby's is open again after its big renovation. More chips, more gear, and everything else you need. Huh. Higsby himself is waiting for you. Drop by and see what's in stock. All right. Well, we need to go visit Higsby's, but first... I'm a chip dealer from Netopia. I've got special chips that you can't get in stores. That's right, I'm a secret dealer. Don't tell any officials about me, okay? Anyway, Tupia is really hot now, even in Electopia. I'm going crazy because everyone wants it. Now, I have only one left. You know, our meeting here... This has to be fate or something. You can take this last chip. You're the luckiest guy in history. I see you look worried about the price. Zennies are important. Oh, I understand. Listen, it usually costs 10,000 zennies, but I'll cut you a better deal. 2,000 zennies. Wow, what a price. You can't beat it. What do you say? Yeah, sure. I know it. You've got taste. Len got a battle chip. Dark Sonic E. I sold out all the chips I brought. I love Electopia, my kind of town. Dark Sonic, paralyze the enemy! Why are the dark chips all caps? Anyway, time for Higsby's. But sadly, Higsby himself is not actually waiting for us. Whoa, this is no ordinary local chip shop. What a selection. Higsby really knows his chips. A large cutout of Number Man. Higsby's Navi. A door to the next room is behind it. How about Higsby's Bargain Bin? So you can get some cheap chips here. Which, Vulcan 1 asterisk and Barrier asterisk, not such a bad thing. Go ahead and grab those. Hi, I'm Nanako. Welcome to Higsby's. So, your selection's a bit better. We get Yo-Yo D. Blinder D. Ice Seed A. Gundel Soul 2 G. I like how the codes for it are Guy. And Super Vulcan S. So we got some good chips there. Also, nice picture of Roll here. Bell's Navi Roll is facing Lan with a cute smile. Also, giant dice. I love the aesthetic. Free space. A free space, one of Higsby's features. It's often used for chip trading and net battles. We also have the chip trader and the lotto machine. Eh, let's see what our luck is like here. We kind of have plenty of guard ones. And we get barrier L for our troubles. But for now, it's time to put in lotto codes. During panic music. I apologize in advance. 
Okay, so, you put in different codes here and get different things. So, three, five, six, zero, seven, three, six, zero gives us anti elect asterisk. Seven, three, eight, seven, seven, four, six, six. And we get anti fire asterisk. Four, four, two, one, three, one, six, eight. Anti recovery P. Zero. Five, zero, six, eight, nine, three, zero. Anti Navi V. One, zero, three, eight, six, seven, nine, four. Anti Sword R. Two, five, four, six, five, two, seven, eight. Anti Water Asterisk. One, zero, one, three, three, six, seven, zero. And we get anti wood asterisk. I think we're done with all the anti chips. <laughs> At least from this. Six, three, two, three, one, eight, seven, zero. And we get a Navicus program, Attack Max. Seven, nine, eight, seven, seven, one, three, two. And we get the Beat program. Three, zero, one, one, two, zero, zero, two. And we get Body Pack. We'll explain these later. Five, zero, three, six, four, four, one, zero. And we get bug fix asterisk. Eight, zero, two, four, six, seven, five, eight. And we'll get Buster Pack. Eight, seven, four, one, two, one, four, six. And we'll get Charge Max. One, five, five, nine, five, five, eight, seven. And we get custom two. Zero, seven, seven, six, five, six, two, three. We get custom volt three, G. Six, eight, seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, Six. And we get Dark and Viz asterisk. Release your darkness! Five, two, zero, five, two, six, eight, seven. And we get Geddon 3V. Nine, one, zero, nine. Eight zero five one, and we get Django SPD. Yes, we can actually summon Django himself from the Boktai games. Tayo nine zero nine one 
four, eight, nine, and six. And we get a sub chip for full energy. One, two, one, one, eight, seven, nine, zero. And another full energy. Three, five, three, two, one, three, two, one. And we get Gundel Soul 3 0. Nine, zero, six, three, zero, eight, zero, seven. And we get HP plus 200 Navi program. Four, eight, seven, eight, five, six, two, five. HP plus three hundred. One, three, nine, two, six, five, six, one. Another HP plus three hundred, just a different color, I believe. Zero, three, four, one, nine, eight, nine, three. HP plus four hundred. Four, five, six, five, four, one, two, eight. Thought something was a little weird there. And we get a different color HP plus four hundred. Three, one, zero, eight, four, 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 three. HP plus fifty. There's a lot of these. Five, zero, nine, zero, six, six, five, two. HP plus five hundred. Seven. Two, eight, four, six, four, seven, two. Another HP plus five hundred. Two, nine, seven, eight, nine, six, six, one. Sub chip for locate enemy. Nine, seven. Five, one, three, six, four, eight. And get Mega Folder two. Eight, three, one, four, three, six, five, two. And we get Fast Gauge Asterisk. That's a nice find. Three. Six, six, nine, five, four, nine, seven. And we get speed max. One, eight, seven, four, six, eight, nine, seven. Recover three hundred Y. Zero. Nine, six, zero, nine, eight, zero, seven. And we get the rush program. Six, four, eight, nine, two, two, nine, two. And we get a subchip for sneak run. Two, eight, two, five. Six, three, four, one. And we get soul time plus one. One, two, five, four, one, eight, eight, three. And we get spin blue. In NaviCast, you can now use LR button to spin blue program parts. That'll make things a bit better. 
Seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, seven, two, eight. And with that, we get spin green. Three, zero, three, five, six, four, five, one. And we get spin red. Four, eight, nine, five, eight, seven, nine, eight. Static S. Six, eight, nine, four, two, six, seven, nine. And we get Grab Revenge P. So there was another anti chip of sorts. Five, four, two, eight, eight, seven, nine, three. And we get the Tango program. Two, eight, seven, zero, six, five, six, eight. And we get an unlocker subchip. Six. Four, six, six, four, five, six, zero. And we get another unlocker, but we can't carry anymore. Oh, looks like there aren't any more. I'll mark that last number as unused then. So yeah, there's actually three codes for unlocker chips, so that's rather nice. But if you're carrying too many, it won't give it to you, but it will just mark the code as unused so you can use it again later. The other code in question being 739-78713. And one last one, 00798216. And we get a subchip for untrack. So with that, we've put in all the lotto codes. Yeah. There's actually another set of codes we need to go through, but uh, you'll excuse me if I do a refreshing pause real quick, just so I don't have to go through all those codes again. Back in a moment. <laughs> 